What's up guys, my name is Shen Zhe and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do an Aldo Prima painting. It's an outdoor landscape plein air painting. So the scene behind me looks pretty good. So, you know, let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. And uh, just getting out some of the paints. I got my primaries, a couple of secondaries, a little bit of sap green, a lizarin, uh, you know, just the basic colors and just getting my stuff ready. And uh, normally when I start, I just uh, lay some lines first, you know, try to have a, a broad composition and try to remind myself, you know, how much dark shapes and light shapes, negative space I want to leave out. And um, yeah, let's talk about squinting. Uh, there's different levels of squints. You, if you look to the right, uh, it's a fairly blurred image in my head. That's let's say a level of 10. And now I squint a little less and you see a little more details. And I would say that's level five. And finally, uh, I squint a little less. Of course, you see in more details. And uh, that's uh, you want to squint as much as you can. But then you have to switch up and uh, try to find a little uh, more shapes when you squint less. And at the same time, you definitely can tell the difference between the big two values which is the light and darks and obviously the foreground and the sky is fairly light shapes and the, the trees and the shadow of the trees is fairly dark so when I paint uh, I try to keep it loose and uh, you know constantly squinting and step back and check my arithmetics and uh, right now I'm just applying some just a basic yellowish greenish color um, you know if it's too light then Try to find darker colors on your palette and see if that's going to help with your value. And of course, at the same time, your value changes as it's going to change the same time as the temperatures. So if the temperatures is a little off, then you have to bring it back. And if it wasn't intense enough, so just look for more intense colors within the similar value of your approach. Then uh, try to make some adjustments. Right now I'm at the uh, second stage of the painting. I already fill in most the canvas with just the basic color ideas. And uh, sometimes I, when I feel like certain areas need to be adjusted, then I'll just go back and keep working on the same area. Uh, I do like to jump around, so that keeps the painting loose. And I don't like to uh, just stick in one corner and try to render it out it's not about rendering it's about capturing the the big essence of what you're seeing so uh, I'm trying constantly trying to find the more warms and cools right now I'm you know, there's a lot more warms and greens um, the sky uh, the sky itself is fairly cool uh, I do have some the pinkish color there because uh, I do want to cover it with um, or cooler color on top with a little bit of warmth showing through and uh, there's some yellowish on the trees and now I'm doing the, the shadow side of the trees uh, I'm going with this purplish bluish fairly cool ideas of the shadows um, because the foreground the pavement is quite bright and um, as much as it's fairly cool then there's fairly warm yellow fairly light yellowish colors so uh, I'm constantly adjusting my temperatures is the subtleties that will make a difference in your painting so uh, I'm always trying to find more warmth in the cools and uh, you know some cooler colors in the warm shapes so it's constantly back and forth juggling between the two.
Okay, guys,、uh, that's pretty much it. That's my painting session of the day. I just love to paint outside, so I do at least once or twice a week. And、uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe.、Uh, my name is Shunzi, and thank you for watching.